This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Air Cable Kit 3, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So the primary material that we're working with here is 1680D um, Cordura. Nothing really new here. We're kind of used to seeing this material or something very similar to it from Air. We do have a front face with a different material. This is 840D Nylon and um, it has a water resistant like coating applied to it. As you can see, it just has that different texture to it and just looks a little bit more water resistant. This 1680 does a really good job at keeping um, water out either way, but it is nice to see a little bit of extra um, on that front face and just kind of adds a nice contrast. I think I think this makes it look very well, um, like just put together, if that makes sense. But overall, very happy with how these materials have held up. I mean, nothing new here to report really. Um, they do hold their shape pretty well. It does look a little bit lumpy right now, but they have a lot of large items stowed inside here, which we'll get into when we go into the inside of the pack. But as you can see here, we have the Air logo right here, kind of a Hypalon-like material. I believe on the last iteration, this was closer to the middle and it's more on like a diagonal this time. Um, nothing really to say about that. It's there, it doesn't bother me. Um, we got YKK zippers on this thing. Uh, some of the best in the business, in my personal opinion. I really like this zipper garage here on this top compartment because if that wasn't there, in theory, water could kind of sneak in through the hole at the end of the zipper. Don't really need one down here because it's not facing upward. So nice little inclusion there. Have a top handle here. A little bit of padding there, which makes it more comfortable to hang onto. So if you know, you're carrying this to the coffee shop or something like that, or if you're on the plane and I don't know why you need to carry that. I guess maybe carry it through the airport to go work in the lounge or something like that. You can do that and it is pretty comfortable, but it stays out of your way when you're not using it. So there are a few differences uh, between this and the last iteration. So this is 2.6 liters and the last two were 1.7 and 1.8 liters, I believe. So quite a bit bigger in this iteration. There used to be a pocket right here, but that is no longer there. And they've gone for a pocket here on the front, which we will go over. And I believe there used to be two compartments, so like two main compartments kind of, and now there's just one large one. So we're gonna get into all of that. But overall, this is quite a different pouch from the last iteration, but you're gonna see a lot of the same things inside, you know, wholesale organization and stuff like that. And obviously we also have these very durable materials on the outside. And I think it just looks very air. Like you look at this and even without this logo, you would guess, okay, I think that's air, but enough about the exterior, let's jump inside. So if you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure you hit subscribe and like this video so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. We've just got one secondary compartment to go over and this is one here on the front. So it isn't a very versatile pocket, but then again, it kind of is depending on what you carry. So right now I've just got two pens in here because I don't really have anything else to stow inside of here. Depending on what you carry, how you carry, you might have something like a quick use item that is like it's a small pocket. So you can't fit very large items in there. So let me I guess maybe you should see my hand there. It's not a huge pocket. So you're not really gonna fit a phone in there or anything like that, but you know, a stylus, headphones, pens, pencils, smaller stuff like that, you're gonna be able to slide in there. If you have a cable you're using all the time, maybe even a very small battery bank, like if you have like one of the ones that it's like more cube sized, flashlight, you can shove it in there and have ready access to it. Um, but other than that, I didn't use this pocket a ton. It was typically where I kept my headphones, like if I was going on a trip or something like that and I wanted to have my corded headphones at the ready, my corded headphones are kind of small, I would put them in there. But if I wasn't going to actively need them soon, they stayed inside the main compartment. So this pocket doesn't get in your way if you're not using it. And I think it does serve a purpose for specific kinds of trips or people who bring specific kinds of gear, but that is your only external pocket here. So if you are someone who likes to have a quick access pocket where you can put like your phone or wallet or something like that inside your tech pouch, um, you're not gonna find that here, but again, it's a tech pouch. It's not necessarily like a day, like a sling or a daily pouch or something like that. So keep that in mind, but time to get into the main compartment. So I really like how wide open this thing gets. The zipper goes all the way around and even a little bit onto the bottom there on both sides. So you can really get a good width here and just kind of get a good look at all of your gear and pack it really well. So this is typically how I would use this thing. And it presents a few issues, but I think most people aren't gonna pack it like this. But I wanted to show you that you could because in t previous iterations and with other tech pouches that, I'll, that I have um, tested, you couldn't fit as much large stuff inside of here. But as you can see, I have a lot of big stuff in here. So I'm gonna take the big stuff out first. Got a pair of big over ear headphones from Audio Technica inside of there. I have my GoPro and a tr little tripod hand grip for my GoPro. So setting those to the side, you can see that these are two very large areas and I was able to fit both of those in there and there was some room to spare. I could fit more gear inside of here 
if I wanted to, but because I had so much large gear inside of here, it made it harder to use some of the internal organization if I were to want to put things with like depth there. So if I had all this stuff inside of here, if I were to have wanted to put like a mouse here or my wallet here or something like that, it was gonna become too hard to close because I had so much big stuff in here. So I don't think most people are gonna bring as much big stuff as that, but I typically don't travel with a bunch of little stuff. I have some medium sized things like, you know, the headphones and the GoPro. So this really worked well for me because I could put this all in one place. Whereas typically if I'm able to fit um, my headphones in there, I'm not gonna be able to put like my GoPro and GoPro accessories inside of here. Um, so I really like that there's so much space, but let's talk about the actual organization because I think that's what a lot of you are here to see. So we have this uh, stretchy mesh pockets. We have quite a few of these inside of here. And I really like this mesh that their air is using now. It's like, it's, like stretchy, but not, it's not like elastic. It's not super, super stretchy, but it holds onto gear really well. Even if you have smaller things, like I have these two just little wall plugs here um, that I travel with, and those never came out when I was testing this thing. And you would think that, I mean, they're not even really being held onto that well, but maybe it's the, um, like the, I don't know, the material or like the texture of the material that kind of held onto them, or maybe they just never got turned upside down. But these never came out. So I think that's a testament to the materials inside there. On this side here, I've just got all three of the cables that I travel with, USB-C to micro USB, uh, lightning and USB-C. So still traveling with the micro USB because those headphones are actually still micro USB and really doesn't take up that much space. And when you have, it was it 2.6 liters to work with, uh, I could bring it all, it wasn't a huge deal for me. On this side here, we have another pocket and we've just got the tags in here. This is a new product, so this is obviously coming out pretty early. We got these early and I do not wanna lose these because it had Air always puts a bunch of information about the product on the tag, which we here at Pack Hacker really appreciate, especially when we get you know, stuff a little bit early. But a nice larger pocket here, so most of the elastic pockets here are a bit smaller. So we have, I would call these probably you know, medium and then a large pocket right here. It's nice to have a bigger one. Like I was able to fit a, you know, I have a dongle that does USB-C to a bunch of other different outputs. And I was able to slide that inside of there, but I actually left that in some rolling luggage that I took on a trip this weekend. This top pocket here is becoming all the rage with different tech pouches and stuff like that. And I really like it because it's all, kind of acts as like a quick access pocket because when you first get inside of here, that's the first thing you see. And like, okay, I'm gonna open this up, get my headphones out and go. So I like that. You could also put pens, pencils in here, stylus, whatever you want to, just a nice little pocket there. On this side over here, we have two more pockets. I believe they're the same size as these ones on the back wall over here. Just got a mouse that I've been testing the Pebble and then my Joby Grip Type 1 micro stand there. And then we have three of these pockets over here, which are a good size, like my wallet fits in there. Um, different, like this mouse also fits inside of there. So just different tech gear or just daily use gear can slide inside of there pretty easily. And then on the back wall here, we have a larger liner pocket. You could fit a small tablet in there, maybe an e-reader, depending on which e-reader you have. Um, not a ton of padding on this side here, you know, like just regular materials, but on this back side, we have that Cordura and there is just a bit of padding inside of there to protect whatever you put inside there. So pretty good protection as long as you don't have anything like pokey on this side. But overall, pretty happy with this main compartment. I really like that I'm able to put so much big gear inside of here. One th other thing to note is that this uh, divider, does, it goes all the way down on the bottom, so things can't slide between under, under between it, which I really dig. But overall, happy with the organization and happy with the ability to stow large gear inside of here if I want to. And if I don't, every little small thing has a home. So there you have it, the Air Cable Kit 3. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.